before I get into why I <clears throat> hate this game so much, I just want to point out I'm a very I don't ask for a whole lot. I'm you, I, I'm a pretty easygoing guy. So, I don't I don't have time for this. I don't understand why my why everything's gotta be so difficult. I'm I'm a nice guy. I ask nicely for things. I don't I try not to s yell or scream at people that don't deserve it. Sir, hello there. I just so it confuses me when I ask people to do what the only thing I've ever asked them to do that they just kind of ignore it and make my life harder. You know, I just I. I use simple words. I figure I'm a nice guy, but when I ask for no, when I ask for you know, a chicken sandwich, light tomato, or light mayo, add tomato, you know, I kind of hope that I get someone thinking along that lines. But like, I didn't, and I just wanted to come home after a long day and play my game and have a mental breakdown in my game. But I couldn't even do that. I got home, and my 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 fucking. I had to walk the animals, and then I came inside, and the chores I asked my roommate to fucking do, they, they aren't done. Friggin' I had to do them myself, and then that time I had to go to the bathroom. Mr. Geddes, this is a new ranch hand I told you this about. This game's already got me friggin' emotional. You kept your nerve my tea melt, my ice melted no, in my tea, so now it's just water. My sandwiches aren't cooked long please. enough. John, Jim, and they were Milton. made right, and I just thank you. They, for the why is Micah sir, still alive? Mr. Dickens, well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your okay. keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky right. man. Then you better work extra it. hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir, you hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here, Mr. Dickens. Go find old Jim Milton here. Something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. I'm sorry, I just... <sighs> Come on this way. I... I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the Morning. wagon up there? Ah, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey. Is it true what they said about you when you arrived? That, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, you, sure. Can you, can yeah, you not right now? Of course, mister. It's, it's been a long day. I don't want and I just... Oh, yeah. I had a... Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. Uh-oh. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You hey, are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh... <coughs> I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Wasn't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellas. So, where are you from anyway, partner? Around, you know, up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. 
There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing That's like a lie. That. Yeah. Lie detector test determined that was a lie. Then. Just a ranch hand. Arthur Morgan was a gunslinger before he got killed off before Micah! <laughs> I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. <laughs> Some epilogue, right? Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Yeah, but most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. And it's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Almost got a pail full. Who knew milking cows would be just so entertaining? Hey, Pa. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your Pa yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all got to earn our keep. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. <laughs> How old are you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's got to be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. This is so exciting. Look out. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. We killed that guy, remember? John Marston, the terror of the turds. He almost got me. Slinging the shit shoveling. Great. Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Lancelot. Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want? Same as I've been? Won't do him no harm. I know. 
Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Say something. There's no dialogue. It's it boring. Can you fuck off, please? Put some coffee on. You're not rusty. That was a good horse. Pain in my goddamn ass. I miss that horse, you guys. Hey, boy. You're a good dog. Can I pet you? Oh, hush your face. I can't do this much longer. Hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. <clears throat> can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What were you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess <coughs> I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Well, there's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Now, lift up the other side. They gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. Fine. And that's it. Good. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Son. 
hurry. Hurry. Milton, get over here. Coming. I'm Come coming, on, I'm coming. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make him mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is no your need boss for that. Son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on! Move! Oh, shit! I'll get him! Just keep on Up, Marston, up, sir. Shoot. Come on. Let's talk. This is like an Acme fucking Looney Tunes game, uh, show. Hold on to it, John. God damn it. This way. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. Headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. Cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Get the place to tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. being hit by the ball. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, stupid. Where are my other hands? Damn it, Abe. Abe? Mr. Geddes. I said, Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe! Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. What? The, what? You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Because since you showed up, Runaway horse has been to some of our problems, and I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. 
Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, hmm? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Oh, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. Hey, That's Jeremiah. Now. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Oh, hey, easy now. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. We're okay. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. I'll be in the corral, Ben. Here we go. Relax. You're a good boy. Everything you got. Come on. Let's get a lather up. No trouble now. Hey, fella. Good boy. All right. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there and go nice and slow. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Mm -hmm. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse? You ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, They'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just no buts. worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. Have I watched I him long you enough? you might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You Starting to get very dizzy. I thought you were going to.
to help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. <gasps> You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. This is the stall. <gasps> So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. My God, where does my <laughs> husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go Pull on. The legs first. Whatever you say, ma'am. This is apps. Gross. Okay, now hold on. And pull. Hold the Milton. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. Uh-oh. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. No problem. For him. How's he been? kind of withdrawn quiet you know sure take him out please come on boy let's go for a walk come on Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. God damn it! Hey, how you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know. But maybe that stream... Good idea. And you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh huh. Confident. Yep. John, what is going on with your Good arm? Good girl. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Well done, girl. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... You're okay, girl. See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. 
Fine, lady. Even faster, come on. Faster? Yeah. I think that's an appropriate speed. to the stream. Yes, sir. You, get back. Like this you think you're ready for a little race? I guess. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! Uh. Go on, go on! Uh. We're doing it, boy! I feel like this is really unfair because this isn't even like top speed. Much bigger. And you're much smaller. Like a jockey. Whoa. Hold on, cheater. You fucking cheater. Come on. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. your mouth boy you will be the first one we kill leave him alone <laughs> oh careful boys careful yeah. look at this tough guy get out of here how fancy pants get he's paying you to be tough for him huh <laughs> no he's paying me to keep the place clean oh. so he had some problems with vermin oh listen to this Real funny. <laughs> oh, oh, get him now. Come on, get him. Walk 
Kick his head in, bro. I couldn't stop him, Jim. <laughs> I'm gonna smell like cow dung, boys. Oh, he's licking you, boss. It's like that. Oh, yeah, he needs help. Get off that man! Get off him! He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in a brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life, married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> well, what'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. Oh. Hard to believe they're married. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Uh, I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably... Head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Hmm. No, uh, no, I'm thank good. You. Uh, I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. What the hell was that? What are you, what are you doing? Job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Jim, they got Dickens over by the stables. It's over. It's Richmond. Who's this? New hand. You men are okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I sir. guess we are. 
Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We... I... What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah! Yeah! Run! better on foot. Okay. If you say so. Oh, that's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Man, There's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up the pronghorn. I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle. And to teach some manners to all of you. <laughs> you seen how many men we got? As many as money can buy. Now get out of here, Hayseed, before you get a hole in your head. Just shoot him. The first one's free. Eat shit, guy. You done. You ain't so talky now, are you? Pissed, they gave me a kiss. 
shoveling backwoods, sack of no good trash. That woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first. <laughs> There's a weapon over here. Realize that. <clears throat> Jim Milton. Oh, well, Milton was the name of that Asian guy, but. Hey, you're back. You did real well, Mr. Milton. This man 
tank can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, uh, <laughs> that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Like, does she not understand or something? Look, just do one Dumb. thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. I gotta do? No? <laughs> nice try. Saw that. Yeah, I guess. How you getting on? Surviving. I think. I'll get you some coffee. The only thing I know how to do is... Well, you know. Undertakers like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was... I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a... old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well... Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. If we start doing okay, and then boom, you act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're doing better. Milton. Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lance a lot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered, I'd think it's in your name? My name. I think so. One's in your name and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the... Real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on, get! You take care now. Of course. Hey. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. Life ain't just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night? 
with those men. Did you kill them? <sighs> I did what I had to do to protect you. Ma said it was your pride or something. Ma oh, Jesus Christ. Was wrong about that. Take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then switch. That's hold them one side if you want to turn. Okay. Here, try it out. We'll never get to strawberry at this rate. Looks like. I'm paying attention. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted in that. Very good. Really? Son, sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't. <laughs> Hi, I'm here. To name? M my name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. Nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston... Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes. Here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. Mm. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Shit, I think I'm not gonna pretend like I didn't do Here, that. let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Ah, uh, it's, uh... Mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here. Nope, you know exactly you take the reins on. a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yep. We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we're just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I miss the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store, or the saloon, or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But... I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But not very. Keep on driving and watch the road. 
Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Find your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. When? Where is it? Where is it going to happen? What's going to happen? Where is it going to happen? Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Let's speed this up. Faster. What's wrong, Pa? Nothing. Oh, damn it! God damn it! No. Oh. He's getting skittish. You'll be all right. Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. Wagon, jump down and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now. Uh, come on. Quick, now. Okay, son. You wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Morrison? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. You could kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back. Sure. He had it coming to him. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but... He was trying to rob... You're talking bullshit, mister! Kill him! Eyes closed. Let's go. Come on, get up. Oh dear, those men! I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Paul. Son. I need you to hold it together. You were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. There, there. We're okay. Hey, uh, 
You know, your mama wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm-hmm. What was it called? Mm-hmm. Well, what was the name, boy? Beecher's Hope. That's right. Beecher's Hope. Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as a rancher's boy. Like Doug and Gettys, huh? I wasn't so sure, but... Yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Say hi to your mother. Nothing else, please. How was the? What happened? Yeah, it's. I don't. We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then. We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. I... Was your dress that caused all the problem? It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Mr. Jim? Mr. Yeah. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think you want? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Don't do it, John. Don't do it. Just want to say no, <laughs> and then red protection doesn't have it. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I've begged you. But it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. 
Abigail. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beatrice Hope. You? A rancher? You'll <laughs> starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Easier for me to do the other two choice first. How many fences does he have to build? Well, that's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. It means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance. No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Is your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. 
experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Use my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. I wish I could find one. I go home. Cruel, cruel world, I'm moving on. I've been living too fast, and I've been living too long. Cruel, cruel world, I'm gone. This big old world sure got me running around. Sit, just settle down. And with the moonlight as my guide, and with this feeling deep inside, I know now that I am homeward bound. Cruel, cruel world, must I go home? Cruel, cruel world, I'm moving on. I've been living too fast. Now I see you to the 
the eyes of a girl No more, no more cruel world Cruel, cruel world must I go on Cruel, cruel world I'm moving on I've been living too fast And I've been living too We know this place. I have to worry about you? What a girl you're you sake, become. I sure hope not. Hello, Sheriff. Want a paper? I'll take a paper, please. See ya. John, you. I got hey. Right Good morning, sir. Step right up. New patron. Welcome. Well, it's really the catalog you want to look at. It's got everything in here. God. Why don't we enhance your gun? See how much more it can do. What? Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Yeah, it's beautiful condition. Keep it up. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on <laughs> I'm fucking, like, actually fucking emotional Good. right now. Ain't no trace of rust oh on that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Oh, I'm Good so fucking you. scared. <laughs> oh, condition. Keep oh it up. I was so fucking scared for a moment. <laughs> Good. Oh Ain't no trace God. of rust on that as far as I uh, can see. Oh, Lord. Like, 
Yeah, Mark beautiful the condition. Bucket emoji. Keep it up. Because I thought I had to fucking buy all those goddamn guns again. And I was going to be pissed. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. Yeah, beautiful condition. Keep it up. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Yeah, beautiful condition. Keep it up. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. Yeah, beautiful condition. Keep it up. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good oh, on you. I can tell you right now I did not miss Good. this guy at all. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Yeah, beautiful condition. Keep it up. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. Yeah, beautiful condition. Keep it up. I really didn't miss you at all. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Yeah, beautiful condition. Keep it up. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. Let's have a look. <sighs> Thank you, Arthur. <laughs> <I'm so> <laughs> <laughs> Just about the worst poker player in all of Valentine. <laughs> now this should be fun. <laughs> Thanks for your time. I was gonna get a haircut. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is my horse. Oh, this is my horse. <laughs> That's a girl. Good-looking horse there. I'm happy to stable that for you. <sighs> oh! <laughs> I can't get Rusty back! <laughs> Rusty! Oh, and he's got his saddle. <sighs> I'm sorry, Rachel. It was fun. Nice. You only live once, lest you're a cat. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking emotional right now. <laughs> Some grooming goes a long way. Looks nice. All right, you bet. Good. Yep. My dog. I got my horse back. Good job, lady. Oh, it's a lady. It's not wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> well done.
Alright, 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 figure it out. Hello there, I need Mr. Panic. Stay here. You okay? Ain't you a good horse? Well, well. <sighs> Thank you. Hello, sir. We're okay. I guess John has female horses. I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time. Leave me alone! Or what? Ah! What is that? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you! Get out of here! On Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> She was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. <laughs> sort of. Oh, oh it's legal. I'm usually. Then... Maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? Nope. With a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on. We got a bit of a ride. I know. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said, if we found him... I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Yeah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. That folk won't be around for long. Oh. Oh, I. Oh. There's even a slight chance, even a smidgen, we are going to kill Micah. Nathan Kirk, banker, bald, 45. Okay. You hit up that way. I'll meet you in a bit. Say, I mean to meet my friend in town, but I don't know where he's staying. Bald New Yorker, Nathan Kirk. 
You know where he is? Afraid I don't know. You seen a... You seen a bald New Yorker? Name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? No, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. But <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? Good lord. Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk? No. Not so as I would remember. Curly, I think. Well, she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the Welcome Center. Most tourists check in there. Okay, thank you. Turn around. Jesus Christ. There you are. He's staying in the Welcome Center. What now? You seen a fella? Fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. Well, this one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just... Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Go! Got him? Oh, shut up! Come on, jump on! We gotta get after him! Remember, we want him alive, though. I know! That's a girl! Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. 
Real fun. I, I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. How are, you, how are you buried, sir? None of your business what I am. She may... hey. Quiet now. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. Blackwater we go. Yeah, I remember that river being wider. Oh. It is so weird coming into this town and seeing it underdeveloped the way it is. John's which we got starts over to not picking that up. Hello. Looking for a trim?
Well, I think that's about right. His hair is a little long, though. There we go. That's starting to look like him. Hey, mister. Okay, there. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> oh, that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. I'm back, girl. You spent a fortune on that young fella. Like an honest enough feller. If I could interest you in bounty work, the poster's on the wall. Thanks, Chief. Elias Green. The apprehension or death of. It's a sorry situation with them mongrel dogs, the Skinner brothers. Just when you thought this country had been civilized. Nigga. Oh, we getting into it now.
Good girl now. Ain't you special? Who's a good girl? should help thee. Help a blind man. Here you go. Get back here, don't feed him. I see sand and ocean and palm trees. Find the black flower and you will be rewarded. Uh, right. Okay, friend. All the best now. Don't waste any more time with an old blind man. Go out there and become who you are. I'm so I'm very interested in how they're gonna start a game. And his home's in Blackwater, and he's getting off off a boat in Blackwater. There's random people getting shot by Indians, and that guy doesn't even care. Easy there. Stay here, girl.
shit. He was happy with the whole day. Yeah, this one's still breathing. All the better. Hold him. Please, please let me go. My sense is it would be rude not to rob you. Let's I'm gonna be you. honest. I'm gonna fight you. You better damn not. That was a nice hat you was wearing. Time to go. I'll make you into a hat, mister. I would love to see you try. I'm gonna take this headpiece for myself. We're off. That's mine, mister. And you belong to me. So I guess that makes it okay. Thank you, Jesus. I'm just trying to loot a fucking body. Come on, right. lady. There you go. Now, let's get you to Blackwater. How you feeling up there? It ain't a smart man. Turns his back on me. Do give it a rest. Actually, pretty fucking good. You ever felt pain, Mister? Real pain? Screaming, crying? Oh, you're the one tied to the back of a horse. Oh, hush. Say hello to people. You think they want me alive? They won't know what to do with me. The judge alive is how they're getting you. With a few bruises. That's what's persistent, John. You don't hit him hard enough. Oh, yeah, 
probably time for me to get a snack or something. It's about that time. It's so chilling playing this game. Seeing like some of the old stuff but with newer graphics. I'm just curious as to where they're gonna decide that they wanna end the game. Like end in. Or does it just keep going on for eternity? John, I don't know if that's an appropriate comment to make to your horse. Come on, Green. Let's get you inside. God damn it! I'll bite you! Yeah, yeah. Well, got you that Skinner, brother. Elias Green. Set me down! Elias Green is I live and breathe. God damn it. Put him in a cell. You ain't got a rope strong enough for me, Sheriff. Justice will be done and done quick. Lock him up. That man ain't worth spit. But here's what we're paying for him. I'll take it. You're making an old chief's life a little easier, you know? How about coming back in a while, picking up another poster? You can't kill me, chief! I can't be killed, and I won't be! Elias Green, you will lose your tongue before you lose your head. Mark me. You're a good filly. Good morning, sir. Buddy! I've lost my friend. Somebody help me, please. Mister? Oh, I know. I'm... I'm looking for my friend. And Gavin. For Gavin. Has he been gone long? Uh, yeah. You run out few years. A few bloody years. <laughs> I can't, um... I can't remember what he looks like. <laughs> I'm looking for him, but I don't know who he is. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Me too. Me too. <laughs> I've wasted my life. I've wasted my life looking. I looked, but I never saw. I saw nothing. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Come in. Good luck. Come in. Oh, I am so oh, worried. Sir? Everything all right, sir? Jav! I still think he's got like split personality disorder, and Gav is, Gavin is just as fucking. sure he's got like split personality disorder or something.
I know it's like dickheadish to do, but I love doing it. Let's follow this road. How the hell? Can I help you, friend? I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here. This land belongs to me now. Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner. <laughs> Wait. Still doesn't explain how he puts an entire fucking house there. Ah, you! The man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Mm-hmm. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Oh, shit. Well, it is you. Well, I never... I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. Oh, no, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's slow and... 
painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> Follow me. Where are we headed? West. West? Nah, oh, ain't you a man of few words? I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I seem. Now, where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Hold oh, on, a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but... You know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we gonna farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. Working hard. 
It's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. You can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh, no, what, what did I have to tell you? I went into town. And, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles! Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. This I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Come on, let's get off. All right. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. Sure. Let's split up. Good idea. I need to do so. I'll take the saloons, you take the slum. Now, nah, how about I take the saloons, and you take the slums? Excuse me. Watch the post, girl. There we go. Sweet. Mm. Awesome. Bonjour. How can I help you today, sir? Oh, listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. Nope. Sorry, mister. No. Actually, yes. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnine. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. Enjoy no, the fight. Money. I would head along that way. Saint Saturnine. I heard what you said. I think they might be starting soon. Okay, I heard you. I'll fucking leave. Jesus Christ.
provisions for food. You are so pretty. So tired. Morning. Hello. Morning, friend. Season two, son. Good lord, I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. Uh, ask that first barman I met, and he told me Charles Next was here. Of a surprise. <laughs> but Not one of life's great massacre. mysteries. And you are out. a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And... you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable. The unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Pretend he's Micah. Just yet. Oh, kill that bastard! Knock him out! What are you doing? Hit him, Charles! Right the nuts! Try and stay on your feet, you hear? What the hell? Made my month, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. Here's your share, partner. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here and heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. Oh, damn it, he's gonna do something stupid. This way. Uh, my bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. 
I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding what his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss. The agents made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened. All those deaths. Micah? None of yep. us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. Mm -hmm. You couldn't have thrown that fight! It's never just one fight. Evidently! Where those guys are? What? You don't have them. Let's go. There's a wagon up there. I'll get my bag. Okay. chance we have of denying it at least no we can't get caught martelli has the police chief in his pocket if they take us in we won't get out of the interview room i don't want to get in a shootout over this that's not the man i try to be anymore no i don't want that either you see anything <sighs> i think we're clear if i ever want to go back remind me that i hate San Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. John Charles! <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> um. I think I can do that.
Most of the Mm-hmm. Nothing. like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. what I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired two dollar whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail, I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady'd set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now just pull. into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fellow by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's gonna Just tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. Okay, Missy. <laughs> Is that all it takes to get one of those nowadays? Oh, 
Oh, probably getting hungry. I'm very attentive to text box. Don't be troubling me now. How are you keeping? Hey. Next time. Oh, here. Come on, camera. Hey there, mister. Come on in. Okay, I'm let stand it. Hi there. Fellas? Give me one. Well, uh, how can I help you, friend? Hello there, sir. Can I get some food? Alrighty then. Excuse me. Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Well, funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah. It's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now, come on. Mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. Oh, 
late. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. Doing okay, girl. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. Ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. There. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? That was the most emph Maybe, emphatic fur I've Smith. ever heard. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in San Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there. Whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls. That weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. But I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who said it all. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. In some yep. way, I hope we'll find him. But uh, not now. Come on. What bothers me is that they're It's almost they I John acted like he's never fucking been down this way before, but here we are clearly going into set areas. Oh no. There's a spot up ahead where we can see over most of the country. They'll be down there. So, James Langton, the bounty hunter, has got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. Bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you? I ain't gonna make a habit of it. We cut off here. <laughs> this is the place. It's a view, all right. This is so chilling. Let's go take a look down in the valley.
I think I see something. Yup. There they are. Down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Uh, come on. Let's go follow them. Looks like they're cutting through oh. the canyon underneath us. Almost bent that. Let's go. Up ahead, we can get a better look at him. You know his thinking pretty well. Huh? If you can't outgun them, oh, my fucking heart just sank to my stomach. Why are we riding so close the to this cliff? For. Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay. Well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. We can't go around them. You take one of them, I'll take the other. You got a throwing knife? Here. Come on. 
Was that my fault? Fuck, where is this guy? Get it. What's it look like? Mm. Rusty too just took a dump. I mean that's fresh. Look where you're going. Now let's get out of here. Come on. We're getting there. Eh?
Need to relieve myself. There'll be a bucket in your cell. <sighs> I'm serious. Yep, and so. Huh. You're lagging, John. So All right, I'm well, saying, attention. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. I mean, what do you expect me to do? How did work ain't easy, John? No, but I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine, and with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie. You know I'm a rancher now. Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hi, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. What's up? Stupid bitch. String lighting. Come on, the jail's up here. Almost there, Finley. Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. Watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. There's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. Little fella. Albert Cakes. Excuse me. Hi 
there. Come on in. Got an idea of what you want? Always. Hmm. I say you look ready for a portrait now. Mighty fine if I do say so. Please, tell your friends about us. Thank you. Alright, I think I'm gonna call it a night.